Hi, my name's Tessa. I am from Vancouver. I'm 22 years old. I think I should be the rock girl because this is what I've wanted ever since I was little. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing. I used to sit on my bathroom counter with a bar of Dove soap and I used to imitate all the other radio personalities in all different voices. My mom used to come in and be like, what is going on? It's kind of embarrassing, but I've, I've always wanted to do it because I've been doing it since I was little. Um, I just came from co-hosting, uh, I, I was just actually co-hosting a morning show for a rock station and I love everything about this industry. I've had a taste and it's just, I'm so passionate about it. And to work with two of the most talented guys who are probably going to make me shoot milk out my nose would be a dream come true. The last time I shot milk out of my nose was actually by accident. Um, we weren't actually allowed to have any drinks in the studio I was working in and I brought a glass of milk. And uh, we had some very 14A conversation going on and I just ended up shooting it all over my keyboard. So right after we cut off the air, I was emptying out my keyboard over the garbage can, just praying my program director didn't walk in and fire me. The best feature on a guy would have to be his teeth. Um, I think you can tell a lot about a guy by the cleanliness of his teeth. I've actually had the emergency phone call made up in the bathroom because I've been on dates with guys with really bad teeth. I mean, if he's got like chunks from eating dinner, that's fine. I understand that because he just had dinner. But if he's got like week old plaque building up between each one, then it's like, that's a, that's a deal breaker for me. I think a toothbrush and some floss and maybe a dentist appointment might be in the works. The sexiest feature on a woman, I think, is, um, besides the personality, of course, I think it's when they turn to the side and they have that little curve right here on kind of the side of their breast. Am I allowed to say breast? The side of their breast. Um, I just think it's very feminine and it's a part of the body that women take pride in and men like. My favorite color is red. Uh, red because, red because uh, it's powerful, it's out there, and it's the first color I saw on that wall over there. The lube, I think, I think, I think lube would be one of the words that you can take and make sexy because it's not normally a sexy word. Um, it depends how you use it. Like, oh man, I got lube on myself. Gross, that's not really sexy, but if it's used in a certain situation, then it, it may become a little more desirable. I would watch Jay Leno for the rest of my life over David Letterman only because his chin and his tuft of hair right in the front makes me laugh. If he doesn't have any good content in this show, it's, it's always the chin from different angles or the little tuft of black hair he's got going on in the front. Always makes me laugh. If I had 24 hours to live, I probably wouldn't make it through the first 24 hours. I would... I would max out my... Well, I've already maxed out my credit cards. Let's not even say that. I would... I'd probably fly down to the best rock concert that was that was playing close by and I would bring everyone that I knew and loved and we would stay in the most expensive hotel and we would have the greatest night ever and the, my life would probably end there not 24 hours later.